Such was Ibn Taymiyyah, Imam, Hafiz, Faqih, Mujtahid, Mufassir, Muhaddith, and Mujahid. He got the title of Ibn Taymiyyah after a lady named Taymiyyah and his lineage who was a scholar. His grandmother Taymiyyah, along with his family, have an amazing history of contribution towards Islam. During the great chaos of Tartar invasion, while the great library of Baghdad was burned down, while Ibn Taymiyyah was a little child, his father and uncles migrated with him. They put up their entire collections of Islamic books in a cart and moved on pulling the heavy cart. Those books that were saved in the cart made Ibn Taymiyyah a scholar. He then went on to write 591 books in his lifespan of 67 years. The Islamic world got three of the most prominent and great scholars from the students of Ibn Taymiyyah. And they were Ibn Kathir, Ibn Al-Qayyim Jawzi and Al-Dhahabi Rahimahumullah. That was the legacy that Imam Ibn Taymiyyah left behind, knowledge and scholars of knowledge. Once Ibn Taymiyyah's father took the kids to a garden, but little Ibn Taymiyyah refused to go. When his father returned, he informed him that he had memorized a complete book within that period. He was sent to jail three times due to his open opposition to the prevailing deviant beliefs. His first imprisonment was like a house arrest where people could go and meet him. He gave fatawa and did counseling. He wrote his masterpiece book named Aqidatul Wasitiyya on Tawheed to correct the widespread corrupt beliefs. Amazingly, he wrote this book between Asr and Maghrib. A book with numerous references from the Quran written within a span of around three hours, shows his in-depth knowledge. Ibn Taymiyyah not only wrote about the truth, but also knocked down falsehood by writing and speaking against it. His janazah was attended by around 300,000 people after news of his death in jail spread like a wildfire. Ibn Rajab says he got news from travelers that Ibn Taymiyyah's Ghaibana Salatul Janaza was offered as far as in China. In a machineless era, with no fast paced typewriter, he managed to write 300,000 pages of his book in such a short time. He completed studying Quran around 80 times while in jail. Just compare our efforts with that of his. We find it hard to read merely 10 pages a day. Just imagine the time management of Ibn Taymiyyah and the barakah put by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And today, we waste our time, yet complain about shortage of time. Remember that Allah puts barakah in everything only if we sincerely obey Him and strive to do our best for His sake alone. And that is what Ibn Taymiyyah said when warned and threatened by his enemies. What can my enemies do to me? My paradise is in my heart. It is with me wherever I go. To imprison me is to provide me with seclusion. To send me into exile is to send me away in the path of Allah. And to kill me is to make me a martyr. May Allah guide us to benefit from his teachings of the Quran and Sunnah. Ameen.